Hey y'all, welcome back to uh, Mytho Hippo Arts. So uh, today I'm doing a tree ring pour and I got these round wooden discs that I've prepped with uh, black paint. Uh, it's a 10 inch diameter for these circles. And I thought it'd be cool to do a tree ring pour on them. Um, this one I'm going to do a tree ring pour on, and then I have a second one here prepped and ready to go that I'm going to do a flip cup on, because I just want to see the uh, difference between the two. So, I'm going to fill it kind of like I do for 8x10, I think to about this line here on the cup. Let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, the seventh line up, or rib up. I'll fill it up to there with the paint I'm using today. So first, um, one minute, I gotta grab one more color. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some of this uh, phthalo blue. And yes, I have it mixed in a Taco Bell cup. So anyway. have a bunch of old cups and I figured why not use them and no they never had any type of drink in them so don't need to worry about that so I'm gonna layer each color or yeah each color I'm gonna layer with uh, the phthalo blue because I want this to be a primary uh, blue type painting Actually, I'll do off and on between the uh, phthalo blue and metallic blue. And this is Artist Law Metallic Blue. Metallic Blue. Just get some metallics going on in there. Clean that off in a minute. Some pink. Then some of the phthalo blue. Get my stir stick out of there. Mm. I'm almost at my line, so we're going to do a little bit of purple. A little bit more metallic blue. A little bit of this brilliant magenta gold color I have. It's got a nice little shimmer to it. And then I'll top it off with a little bit of gold after I put a little bit more phthalo blue in. Hopefully this uh, looks nice and blue. That's all, apparently what I'm going for here. All right, anyway. So let me just wipe this off real fast. Got all the, all right, so here we go. And we just want to slowly pour it as slow as possible. And just to do little circles as you pour it. And hopefully I mentioned before that I am doing a tray ring pour on this. I think my uh, 
little grate here was level when I started pouring. So I'm going to try to hopefully level it now. I definitely didn't need that much paint. I had a uh, plenty of paint. I'm just gonna slowly work this around. I lost most of my gold, which I guess uh, happens when you have too much paint on there, but I do like it. I don't know how well you can see it as I'm tilting it around. I'm trying to get most of this paint off of here. Like I said before, too much paint will probably not only cause the wood to uh, warp a little bit, but it will also cause the paint while it's drying to crack. So there we go. I like it. I think it looks kind of cool. I like the uh, rings and the bubbles in here. I'm not going to torch this because I don't want to light the wood on fire. And I also, I just really like what it's doing on its own. And I kind of wanted to see what it's going to continue to do on its own. Um, I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'll put the uh, blank one up and we will pour that one while this one sits. And then at the end, we'll do a close-up of both. So bear with me for a moment, and I will move that out of the way. Here's the next one, and this one I'm just going to do a dirty pour, so, or a uh, flip cup. I'm going to use the same colors as before, some pink, some purple, some of the aqua magenta, some of the metallic blue. Gold. And some white. And I'm going to flip cup this one. white, the pink and the white are um, Artist Love Flow Acrylic. The white is, or the pink is mixed with uh, white and uh, red. Um, the purple is the Craftsmart purple. The uh, Pathalo blue is uh, Artist Loft along with the uh, metallic blue. 
and then the uh, Brilliant Magenta and the uh, Gold. The Brilliant Magenta is from the uh, Artist Loft as well. And then the Gold is the Deco Art Americana Home Decor uh, Gold that I like to use. I'll leave those in the description below so you can uh, find them on your own. I don't have them out, otherwise I'd show you again. Alright, so I'm going to pull this off. One, two, actually. I'm going to poke a little hole in the bottom. Kind of help get all that paint out of there. Alright, here we go. Definitely thinking I like this one a little bit more. It's got more of those colors in it than I was uh, going for. And we will probably torch this one. Because I see a lot of air bubbles, so I want to get rid of them. I like popping the bubbles. It's fun. Actually, I think I just like playing with fire. All right, there we go. So we're gonna tilt this around. And my thought with these was to uh, turn them into clocks because they're round, you know, perfect clock shape. So, uh, we will see, I kind of like that side, so when you get to a point where you just don't know which way to tilt it because you like everything you see in it, I guess we'll go this way a little bit more. Okay, I think we'll leave it like that. Yeah, I definitely like this one more because I have more of the colors that I originally put in the cup uh, showing up. Well, showing up. Not just showing up, but still on the uh, disc itself. Alright, so let me torch this one one more time. Let that sit there for a moment, and meanwhile, we'll go do a close up on the first one we did. All right, so here's the first one. I like the rings that I have in this one, so don't get me wrong, I do like this one, it's just there's a lot of pink and blue, which isn't a problem for most people, but. I don't like that much pink. But we do have, especially over here, some nice cells up in here. So it definitely looks cool. And there's a nice little, if I hold it at this angle, maybe you can see it a little bit. Nice little shimmer from the gold and metallics we have in there. So yeah, there's that one. And we'll go ahead and do a close up on this one because I don't believe it's gonna change much more from this. Here we go. I like how this purple was just kind of like wrapped around the pink a little bit. Looks really cool. It threaded itself around. Go to this side with all the lacing. Yeah. So out of the two, this one's my favorite. So, but um. So this was a flip cup and tree ring pour on two wooden discs. Um, when I decide what exactly I'm gonna do with them, I, I probably will turn at least one of them into a clock um, just to try that out. But when I do that, I'll put up another video. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe so you can stay up to date for more videos. 
and uh, we'll see you next time.